I hope you're doing okay today. Welcome to my sketchbook tour. I'm Roxalana, and I'm going to take you through my drawings in this book right here. I drew in this from April 2022 until October 2022, so like a good part of last year. And in a moment, I'll just kind of casually talk about it and flip through it so you can see them. On the first page or two, I really like to leave them blank. I like to come back later and write down like interesting quotes or things that inspire me and stick all the fun stickers like on those first two pages. And then I start the drawings. I think everyone has their own way of breaking the ice with a new sketchbook and that's just the way I like to do it. This is the start of my mermaid drawings. That's my baby coelacanth. He's my favorite. Uh, mermaid is a drawing challenge where you draw a mermaid every day of May. And I never make it to the end of it, but I always think it's really fun to try. I think drawing challenges are really great because either it's the same subject every day and you get really bored and so you have to sort of like start thinking about what you can do to make it interesting again. Uh, which sort of like breaks new creative juice ground in my brain. Or it makes me draw things that I wouldn't have considered drawing, which you'll see towards the end of my sketchbook when I do a different one. The one on the right is from She-Ra. I was watching the show at the time, super good. <laughs> and this is Bruno, my wiggly boy. A lot of the times I'll noodle around or get like real mad scientist-y in my sketchbook as I try and think through a project or an idea. I like to, besides drawing, I like to like make a lot of things. And so I'll plan out a lot of the features that I want to make. I've also been exploring a little bit more with sort of emotionally charged drawings. And that's been good. Here you'll see my love of faces. I love faces so much. They're so good. I love the way that like you can look at someone's nose or lips or or cheeks and like tell where they come from. Um, or the way that somebody can like move their eyebrows and they're they're making a whole different face now. The girl on the right's from Anne with an E. I want all of their clothes and I thought that outfit was stunning. And this is from a hard day where I made a good painting. Oftentimes I'll just like write into my sketchbook and like pour my guts out on paper. Sometimes I feel guilty for taking up sketchbook space for that, but in those moments it's kind of like, I need to do this. I think it's kind of funny to to look through because I recognize all these people and I'm like oh that's when I hung out with so and so that's when I went to lunch with them that's where I ate that big pretzel and so some of these are strangers but some of them I recognize quite well the colorful one is because whenever I have a bit of uh, paint left on my palette I like to just like fill up a page and make some random shapes I always intend to like use that as a base for something later, but I never actually come back to it. But I think I think they're they're still cool. It's a, sort of a nice break for my eyes. Something that is different and kind of special about this sketchbook is that I haven't shared any of the images online before. Uh, a few years ago, I got into this weird headspace. Uh, where like I couldn't sort of separate Instagram and the act of showing other people my drawings from you know just drawing for myself and it made me like really anxious to draw because I was always thinking like oh someone else is gonna see this I should draw appropriately uh, which just felt ugly and not right so I decided you know what in this sketchbook I'm not gonna show anybody these drawings online like in person if I want to but case by case basis and I'm just going to draw and see how it affects my drawing, because this will all be for me, um, and this will be private. And you know, I'm really glad I did that, because I explored topics 
that I wouldn't have normally, whether they are subjects that are like emotional or more saucy and sexual, um, or just like stupid and goofy. Um, I think it gave me some much needed space to actually feel like, uh, authentic again. I really like the beginning stages of drawing. You can see all these like prototypes and thumbnailing and like sketches and sketches and sketches. My favorite part of a drawing is the beginning. I really hate the middle part. It's so hard for me to like slug through and actually like follow through with uh, my idea. But I did with this one, those sheep, I did actually finish. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the beginning part is like the most exciting for me. I love the iterating and the ideating and the iterating and the ideating. I think it's really fun. More sheep. So many sheep. This is for Sword Timber, another drawing challenge where you draw a sword every day. That was fun. I hadn't really drawn a sword before, and then I drew like eight of them, and that was great. <laughs> um, and then we're approaching when I drew for Inktober. But for now, this is just a lot more ideas, a lot more things that I want to come back to and actually follow through with. I don't feel guilty for not following through with my ideas anymore. There was a time when I was younger, but now, like, I know they're still in there and I can come back if I ever want to. And I, I still love them, you know? So one day, perhaps I will. This drawing challenge, I was very particularly committed to. Like, a month before, I was like, I am doing this and I am doing all the days of this. So I actually set myself up, like, very specific rules to help me succeed in that. One of them was, like, I will draw 15 minutes every day. Uh, No. What did I say? I will draw up to 15 minutes every day, and then whatever comes out, comes out, and then I think I told myself only black and white, because color makes it complicated really fast, and I have a bad habit of uh, getting carried away, and then maybe too intense, and thinking everything following that has to be that intense, which is totally not true. So I was quite proud of myself for finishing that drawing challenge. I missed the one day, but I think, I mean, fuck it, I, I did the drawing challenge. This is my coworker in despair. <laughs> hmm. And some lovely maths and some lovely bunnies. Sometimes I just love the line work so much that like, I feel like if I color it, I'll ruin it, which I know isn't true. And that's what digital is for, honestly. So you can make a copy and then just keep going, but Maybe I'll make a coloring book one day. Maybe that's what I'll do. And that's it. I never actually finished the last pages. I get too excited about the next sketchbook. And you know what? That's fine. Thank you for watching and joining me on this tour.